you're planning on buying a digital PS5 console, and by that I mean a PS5 that doesn't come with a disk drive, don't. Even though it seems like the cheaper way to go, trust me when I say it's going to cost you. I'm Fuzzy Bear Barian, and this is my PS5 digital console rant. Consider that a PS5 with a disk drive in Australia costs $749. A PS5 digital edition version costs $599, so that's $150 more for a PS5 with a drive. Or for those flat earthers who think Australia doesn't really exist, I can translate that for you. It costs 25% more to buy a PS5 with a drive. There's going to be a ton of people who'll take a cursory look at prices, see an upfront saving of $150, and immediately conclude that's the better deal. And that approach would be fair enough too if corporate greed didn't exist, but corporate greed does exist. See, as appealing as a 25% price saving up front looks, it comes with a catch. And the catch is, ultimately you'll be paying way more for your console than that 25% price increase would have saved you in the beginning. The catch is, of course, that digital games cost way more. They shouldn't, but they do. There's no manufacturing involved, there's no printing, there's no transportation costs, there's no bricks and mortar businesses to stock them and so on. And so it's reasonable to expect a cost saving when you buy a digital game. But no, the reverse is true. Unless you don't mind spending the time, effort and risk of getting scammed while hunting down a digital only code from some random, there are generally two options to buy PlayStation games. One, you buy from a legit physical retailer and the other is you buy from Sony's PlayStation store. If you have a digital only console though, those options boil down to just one, Sony's store and only Sony's store. Take Returnal as an example. It's the latest PlayStation exclusive and if you have a console with a drive, you can buy it for anywhere from $90 to $100 from a retailer. If you have a drive, that is, if you don't, it's going to cost you $125. $125, I mean, that's just, well seriously, I don't even need to say it. Returnal is getting decent reviews and it looks like the kind of game I wanna play but as a sucker that managed to snap up a digital-only PS5 console, I really can't bring myself to be made a whale of by Sony's corporate greed machine. That's why you're seeing Zombie Army 4 Dead War gameplay here. I had a choice, get ripped off buying Returnal digitally, or play something else. I chose the something else. And that's purely because of that ridiculous markup. There will of course be those who point out you can obtain digital codes elsewhere if you take the time to look, but honestly, good luck with that. There are a bunch of scammers out there and there's some very legitimate looking sites that will scam you for your money too. You have to tread very carefully in the digital code on the internet space and it's a space full of horror stories of people getting ripped off. You only need to look at forums and even Reddit to see. Sure, you might get lucky here and there, but the chances are, even if you do, it's going to be a stressful event for you one way or the other getting that code. And let's not forget, Sony don't want you doing that anyway. Way back in 2019, Sony sent out the memo that they weren't going to allow digital codes to be sold in retail stores. Why would they? Greed is never as well served up as when it's monopolized, that's for sure. With a 25% markup on new digital games, you really only need to be seven or so games in before the saving you made on your initial console purchase is burned. After that, every game you buy is going to cost you an extra hour or two of hard labor compared to your friend, and she's going to forever laugh at how you chose poorly. And no, I'm not referring to my girlfriend who told me not to buy the digital console version. Not at all. Anyway, take it from me. Having owned a PS5 digital console now from the day they got released, I can honestly say there's a high amount of regret that comes with buying one. Don't be that person. Don't be me. My hard-learned recommendation is buy an Xbox Series X and take advantage of Game Pass. Game Pass is where it's at for getting good gamer value now, and you won't feel as bad forking out the money for a full-priced game on the Xbox when you also have access to Game Pass alongside it. But if you absolutely must buy a PlayStation once they become available again, you know, if you just can't wait for Sony's exclusives to hit other platforms in a year or so, then please, for the love of all that is holy, make sure your PS5 console is the one with a disk drive. And if it's too late for you, and you already have the regret of owning a digital PS5 console, well, the best I can do for you is to show you some fallen babies. So here's some fallen babies. Anyway, that's my rant. Later.